Hi, this is Patrick Altmaier. I'm going to show you the um, about five things you must do after installing Ubuntu 12.10 for the first time. What you need to do is you need to go over to the software updater. You'll see it appear after the install in about a minute because it has 225 updates to install. Make sure you do this first. Hit install now. Use the password you use when you first install Ubuntu. Remember when they ask you for your username and password? That's the password you use. Okay, here's the details. This is going to take about five minutes to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause it when it's finished because it's going to ask me to reboot the computer. So I'll get back to you when the, the software updater is finished. Okay, as you can see here, the uh, software updater is finished. I'm going to have to restart the computer, so we will continue the video right after the restart. Welcome back. This is uh, Patrick Altmaier after the reboot. I want to show you the next couple of uh, software that should be installed. The uh, GDEB package uh, manager. It does not come with 12.10 this time pre-installed. You have to install it yourself. So you just open up Software Center and wait till it loads. Okay, you're going to hit GDEB and install the GDEB package manager. Okay, enter your password. And we'll wait till the install is finished. And the next step is you're going to install the Synaptic Package Manager. Because you're going to need that to in install some Synaptic packages you download. Because some of the packages come in the GW format, some come in the Synaptic package, and some come in the uh, run, the dot run uh, file extension. So we're going to install the Synaptic now. Just type in Synaptic. As you can see, it's right here. Hit install. Both of these will install. And after we're done with the Synaptic Package Manager install, we're going to have to open that up and install DKMS kernel software. If you don't do that now, a lot of programs you try to run in the future will not work. And I'm going to show you a little thing about the Synaptic Manager after it's done. Okay, that one's been installed. Now I'm going to close out of here. Now, see how it's right here? You want to uh, unlock it from the launch bar because you have to unlock it from here. I'm going to unlock this one too because you don't really need it. The only time you need this is when you right click on a package and say install with GW package installer but you're never going to actually open it up and then try to install something. You may but it's rare but you can just open it up from here. Okay I'm going to go to Synaptic and I'm going to open it up. See how it asks for the file? This gives you root, this gives you root access, access. like you know owner's permissions. Okay close this, that's unnecessary. Now you're going to type in G DKMS. Okay, you want to install this. This is very important. Mark for installation. I would select yes when I show you some underneath. There's a couple of other things that have the uh, Ubuntu icon on. We can check them out to see what they're about. Okay, that's a good one to have installed. Usually anything that has this, you should install. And this one. Okay, now we're done. Now we're going to hit apply. And apply again. I'm going to hit automatically close when programs are finished. As you see here, it says it can take some time. Let's see what's going on underneath. Okay, we're done with this part. Everything's been installed. Make sure you do this. And uh, that's about it. There's um, one other software. If you do any kind of video editing, you should install GIMP. I'll show that to you real quick again. Open up the Software Center.
and as you can see when we click on more info it is the latest version to install go ahead and mark all these you might as well select them all because you might need them if you don't they don't take up that much space and ignore this guy it's a good program okay this is Patrick Altmeyer I'm showing you the three packages you must install first do the updates then install GDEB and then install the Synaptic Package Manager and then put in the DK, DKMS kernels so they'll be ready for any future uh, software you might uh, um, might install because I was trying to do the virtual manager the virtual box the OC Oracle virtual box and it did not work unless I had the DKMS kernels installed this is Patrick Altmeyer. I'll see you in my next video and please subscribe